kidding, really, it was terrific. I thought it was pretty great myself, even if I cooked it myself. Luke, I'm glad you're here. Right. Do you have anything to report on the uh, waterfront thefts? As a matter of fact, I do, Alex. That's why I'm here. I'll come in to my office. Hungry, should I bring something in for you? Oh, no, please. I just had a huge breakfast at my place this morning before I left. Oh? That's not your usual routine, is it? Alex, I have no usual routines. And I, I suppose you realize that you haven't clued me in on any of your activities in the past few days. Well, kid, I've been busy. Have you now? Yes, I have. By the way, I still have your three objects of art that I took from the warehouse. I'd like to give them back to Benny. He's done us a lot of good. He's really okay. In fact, he's put us onto a lead that I think may lead somewhere. Oh, but look, those items are worth a fortune. Alex, you know as well as I do, you gotta spend a fortune to get a fortune. I want him on our side. I think if he can trust us, we may get more information from him. What do you say? Well, under those circumstances, you do whatever you think is best. I've been waiting so long to hear the woman say that. <laughs> all right, now, what I've got here is, uh, I've checked out all the cabbies that, that work for Bingham Cab Company, and it's narrowed down to, uh, probably one guy. I've checked them, all the guys who have been flashing around a little more bread than they should, mm -hmm. and, uh, I think maybe this one is it. Well, what about my wonderful sketch? Did it do you any good? Your wonderful sketch did lots of good. I took it to Great. all the junk shops in town, and I finally found a guy who runs a junk shop who, uh, recognized it. He thought that a woman had brought it into him and tried to sell it. He thought it was worthless, wouldn't buy it. I gave the description of the woman to Clyde Bingham, and he said, sounds like the wife of a cabbie named Charlie Lutz. I really think we're on to it now. Oh, well, we could definitely be onto something if that guy recognized my sketch. Look, this is fantastic. Yeah, this no, is it. No, <laughs> well, no, well, no, wait. Don't get too excited. Let me get a little closer to the woman. I'm mm -hmm. going to try to get an invitation to her apartment, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. I hope so. And, uh, she's really stupid. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Brains of a rabbit. So mm -hmm. I'm figuring that she has no idea what the value of it is, and it's probably sitting out there on the, their dining room table or something. So I'll take a look around, and, uh, then I'll let you know. But what about her husband, the cab driver? Don't you think you should get to know this guy? Look, I already know the guy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to meet him again over at, uh, the diner this afternoon. Bingham's going to bring him there. Well, look, be careful. If that guy's got the Ice Princess... Alex, don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to discuss art objects with Charlie Lutz. Especially since he could be our man. please yeah hello uh, I'm, I'm trying to find out if my wife is still there Lutz Mrs. Emma Lutz oh she is no but don't don't say anything to her I want to come down and surprise her for lunch but if I if I can't make it I don't want to get her hopes up she's what uh, uh, right yeah okay Oh, thank you very much. Well, what's this? Trying to get my job? Oh, that's an interesting idea. No. Then may I ask why you're using the phone? Whatever turns you on. Luke. Me? Really? I do? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Avoiding my question. What question? Why were you using the phone? <gasps> the phone. It was an emergency call. Okay. Just forget I asked. I already did. Look, would you answer a question for me now? Sure. What? What does it mean if a woman is having her comb out? Her comb out? Yeah, it's beauty shop jargon. Her comb out. Uh, I mean, like, uh, the timing of, of being in a beauty shop. What is that? What is that? Where is that in the program? Monsieur Robert should be able to answer that one. Yes, but you see, Monsieur Robert had an assistant named Simone who handled that side of the business. So come on, give it up. Give Monsieur Robert a break, eh? With pleasure. Just as soon as you tell me why you're asking. 
will you never learn not to ask questions? Well, I know you don't like it, but I just couldn't resist. Mm -hmm. All right. In deference to your need, the phone call I made had something to do with my investigation for Alex. Call mouts have to do with your inves investigation? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It gets uh, more interesting all the time. You don't know the half of it. I don't even know a quarter of it. You know, I really don't like to keep you in the dark. Could have fooled me. But you see, the reason I do it is to... I know, I know. It's for my own safety, right? That's it. That's it. So, how is your uh, little investigation coming along, uh, in general? Well, in general, my little investigation's going rather well. In fact, soon I think it's going to be a wrap. Really? Mm -hmm. All the mystery and intrigue is finally paying off. I think it's about to. And tell you the truth, I'm really going to be happy to get out from under Alex's thumb on this thing. But, c'est la vie, eh? It may take a little longer unless I can get some cooperation from my friends. Oh, I understand you're not wanting to give me that information. I can dig it. You know, I've certainly told you to stay out of it enough. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Okay, well then, I'm just going to go in here and uh, give Alex a quick update, and then I will be out of your face. Look, okay. Okay, uh, you win. I win? This is not a contest, Laura. Right. But I keep turning it into one. I'm very sorry. I really am. In answer to your very weird question, if a woman is having a comb out, that means she's about ready to go. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, damn. Okay, thank you. Listen, tell Alex and I'll give her the update later. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Simone, eh? You're welcome. Honey. Listen, I'm not going to be gone long. Would you like to have a late lunch with me? Late as ever. What? The lady's already having lunch with me. Oh, drat. Well, in that case, perhaps someday I won't come in second best. Just don't come in. Thank you. Bye. You look absolutely beautiful today, but then again, you look absolutely beautiful every day. Thank you. You ready? Yep. Just get me first. Good. I've got some nice reservations for us at the Versailles room. Mm -hmm.